Principles of Management, MIA, or Managers in Action. Rebecca is the general manager of a restaurant and bar. Her staff includes Harriet, an assistant manager, her brother, David, a cook, John, a cook, and childhood best friend, Julie, a server. Rebecca has just hired Stan, Julie's boyfriend, to work in the kitchen as a cook. Harriet is upset she was not included in this decision to hire Stan and becomes frustrated with the situation. David shows up late for work every day and Julie misses shifts often without giving a phone call or adequate reason why. Rebecca and David become intoxicated on the job when coming to the decision to let go of Stan. Julie creates a scene in front of customers sparking even more tension in the workplace. Things come to a climax when Rebecca breaks the company policy and leaves early to go out on Friday night. Harriet, after feeling she had no other choice, decides to call the owner of the bar to explain what Rebecca has done. Management Concepts Groupthink A mode of thinking in which pursuit of agreement among members becomes so dominant that it overrides the realistic appraisal of alternative forces of action. Brainstorming, a process of generating many creative solutions without evaluating their merit. Decision making, a process of specifying the nature of a particular problem or opportunity and selecting among available alternatives to solve a problem or capture an opportunity. Ethical lapse, decision that is contrary to an individual's state of beliefs and policies of the company. Selective perception, the process of screening out some parts of an intended message because they contradict our beliefs and desires. Social consensus, the extent to which members of the society agree that an act is either good or bad. Managerial ethics, the study of morality and standards of business conduct. Standard operating procedures, established procedures for action used for program decisions that specifies exactly what should be done. Efficiency perspective, the concept that a manager's responsibility is to maximize profits for the owners of the business. Utilitarian approach focuses on the consequences of an action. Main characters, Rebecca, the general manager of the bar who is charismatic and kind, but tends to make poor managing choices, fueled by her alcohol use. She tends to allow displeasing and even unethical behavior that goes against company policy. Harriet, the assistant manager who lacks with confidence when it comes to speaking up for what is right, but does her best to keep the establishment up and running. She tries her best, but at the end of the day, she fails to speak up because of her introverted personality. David, the head cook who consistently for work, but gets away with it due to being the brother of the manager, Rebecca. Like Rebecca, David too has an issue with alcohol, which plays a part as to why he can be extremely bossy and controlling of others at work. However, when David does come to work, he is very efficient in the kitchen. Julie, a server who frequently blows off work, but otherwise does a good job when present. She likes to challenge authority and often gets away with it due to the workload she can achieve. What she deems as being confident, others may find as arrogant. Supporting roles are played by John and Stan. John, a cook who is second in command when it comes to the kitchen. John has a laid back personality and often operates on his own time and lacks motivation. When he isn't at work, John can be found out catching waves on his surfboard. Stan, 
the new hire, filling in the open position in the kitchen. While Stan is a stand-up guy, he is not meant to be in the kitchen and lacks experience in the position. Stan got the job due to the fact that he is Julie's boyfriend. Episode 1. The restaurant is in need of a new cook. Rebecca, the manager, consults with several of the other employees on how to address this issue. After some brief discussion, they come to the conclusion that they ought to look for a cook with a special set of skills and desirable traits. Episode 2. In this episode, we see Rebecca's original plan to hire an employee based on a strict set of criteria completely fall apart. Due to her nepotism, she instead hires her childhood friend's boyfriend as a cook, who has little experience in the kitchen. Due to this poor judgment call, business is particularly rushed and frantic this night, and Rebecca ends up letting Stan go. Episode 3 Rebecca's plan for hiring Stan is seen as disastrous by other employees, leading subordinates to question her judgment. Rebecca refuses, however, to confront the problem correctly and instead drinks as an excuse to get out of confronting Stan and firing him according to company policy. Even worse, this drama leads to a scene in front of several customers scaring them off. Episode 4 Rebecca's ethical lapses as a manager simply continue to pile on. She pleads with Harriet to let her leave her, which is against company policy, as her replacement for the next shift hasn't arrived yet, and starts to drink in preparation for a night on the town when Harriet gives her the go-ahead. Julie and David then mysteriously arrive and drive off leaving Harriet to manage the bar by herself with many angry customers to attend to. Finally, she has had enough and calls in the restaurant owner to speak about Rebecca's antics. When first starting production, we tried splitting the task evenly. Each group member is given a specific task for the assignment. Two people split and write the script of an episode. Two help animate and produce the episode, and voiceovers are split between group members depending on the characters. The viewers should learn from this series a few dilemmas that a manager may face as being part of a team, be it a corporate office or other settings. The viewers should gain an understanding of such issues and how to handle them correctly in a professional and ethical manner. The series will also examine ethics and nepotism and how it can affect both workplace cohesion and performance. Now meet Team MIA or Managers in Action.
station was designed to deliver a clear understanding of the TV show we are creating this semester by introducing the show concept, the management concepts, the character profiles, and episode outlines in the order we did, we feel as though we have built the framework for a user-friendly explanation. We hope you have enjoyed the presentation, and even more so, we hope you are excited to tune in to our show.